Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're looking at Microsoft Forms and the new feature, the file upload feature. So I've already started a form, so I'm going to open up this form. So just to recap, you click on the three dots, you can delete it and move it. I'm just going to click on it to open it. I've added a title and a subtitle. I'm going to click Add New. And from the drop down, I'm going to choose File Upload. So I've put in a title there. I could add an image if I wanted to. Uh, I can alter the file limit, so up to 10 files, but I'm gonna stick with one. I can change between 10 megabytes, 100 megabytes, or one gigabyte. I'm gonna have stick with 10 megabytes. If a student's creating something on their phone and uploading it, they may not have Wi-Fi, so 10 megabytes seems like a, a sensible size option. I can click required, because I require them to submit something. If I click on the three dots, I can add a subtitle, but more importantly, I can specify a file type. So I always like to specify a PDF, image, or video, or, or audio. Beware if you're selecting video that 10 megabytes can, can result in quite a short clip, and I probably wouldn't go with video on this. I would probably stick to an image or a PDF document. So having got those done, we could just add maybe one more thing, maybe just add some text for, to get them to put their name so we know who submitted stuff, or we could just share it via the link that only those within the organization can respond and that they have to submit their name. So having got my two questions added, I can click share. And I've got two ways, so people in my organization can, can respond or the only other option which has been disabled is anyone with a link can respond. So I've got that there. I can copy that link and can paste that into the browser. And there is my form. One other new feature just to highlight is the immersive reader is now available in forms so that students can listen to and have the questions read out to them, which is a really nice feature. So I was submitting, I could put in my name. I could then click File Upload, browse my computer, and upload the file. And what's really nice is it gave me a choice. So if I just delete that for a sec, it gives me a choice of, it tells me the file types and the file limit there. So I'll just repeat that process, upload the file. So we're browsing from our device and then we can hit submit. If I go back to the back end, the form end, I can look, I can go to responses, and I can see the file in the response there. If I click on more details, it shows me who's responded and a link to the file. I can also click view in folder, and that will take me to OneDrive and show me within OneDrive the file that's been submitted. So there you have it, a really quick way. I, I see this being a great way to get homework submitted, especially if the homework doesn't require the use of a plagiarism detection software. So maybe it's just an image or it's a short piece of text and you're not too worried about plagiarism. Then I could see it being a great alternative and a quick and easy way for students to submit images or content that they've created as part of a homework task. So hope you found the video useful, keep watching, keep subscribing and join me again soon for more EdTech videos.